What's up guys? How about today I show you how to take some of the stuff I've been telling you about in the cutting planes and in the regions and actually take that to AutoCAD. So, we get a drink of coffee. Mmm. Let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do, um, as you can see, I've already got a surface and everything created, and we're going to take all this stuff out, back out to AutoCAD. So surface contours. When you export out a surface out of Trimble Business Center, you're going to export out as an XML. That XML, if I go home, export, I go to construction, you're going to export out a land XML exporter. That's going to bring your surface, your tin, not your contours, your tin, your actually surface, into AutoCAD. When you bring it into AutoCAD, whatever settings you've got set up for your styles is what's going to pop up uh, and create your contours and stuff. So let's look at some of this stuff real quick and then we're going to jump into it. I just want to show you how to export out the data and then we're going to get into CAD and I'm going to show you how to bring it in. So let's say, for instance, that I turn this stuff off let me uh, turn the surface off I'm gonna turn off the contours which are under layers okay so now all we're left with is the building so let's say that um, actually you know what let's do this I'm gonna go ahead and turn off footprint the curve and the gutter Okay, so now we've got nothing in there. So let's say that I want to bring this duct work in. So I've got this duct work. Let's make it a color we can see a little bit better. I like color coded intensity. I can see it better. Okay, so you can see this duct work here. Now, if I want to take this duct work out, which looks like I need to do a little bit more work on to it because I've got some ceiling in there. But, anyways, so if I want to take this out, what I would do is I would go to Quint Clouds under Home Export. I would say RCP or LAS, depending on where I'm taking it to. I'm gonna select right here where it says data, it says selected, I'm gonna select that. And then I'm going to draw a box around this and select this whole thing. It should show up just as one entity. Okay, so right here is where I give it its name and I call it whatever I want to. So under this case, I think I called it Duck One or something like that. So, so that's what I do. Now here's a big kicker. You have grid and ground exporting. Now this hung me up big time. So this grid and ground exporting, what's going on is um, you've got um, obviously grid and ground, right? So, but if you're not careful and you export it out the wrong way, you're gonna find out it doesn't land where you think it should. So. We're gonna go ahead and go with grid because I haven't put any of this to ground. I'm using grid for everything. It's pretty much scale factor one, so it's a little bitty side anyway, so we're not gonna worry about it for this this uh, tutorial. Okay, so that's how I would export it, either as an RCP or typically as an LAS, depending on where I'm going. Now let me tell you about the RCP thing. Here's a trick. You have Recap and you have Recap Pro. If you're gonna export out of Business Center, you need Recap Pro. Now, I don't know that um, this is 100% true, but in my case, which I loaded mine a while back, uh, I literally had to take Trimble Business Center off my machine, load Recap Pro, then load Trimble Business Center in to get it to work. Now, that's been three, four, three versions ago, so things could have changed since then. But just FYI, if you're trying to load Recap Pro and it's not exporting, look at that and see if that's a problem. Also, um, when you're exporting out, you can export out as an LAS file and then turn around and take that out to standard recap and then create a recap file from there and take it to CAD. That's a lot of steps. 
So whatever you're comfortable with. I think Recap Pro is $300 a year or something like that. I think you can rent it per quarter for like 100 bucks or something. I can't remember. Check with your um, Autodesk guy and find out. So what I do is I create this export and I export it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to CAD. So you can see I've already got some stuff in here. Now here's a little trick when you're in CAD. If you hold down the shift and your middle mouse button, you can spin this around. Okay, so as you can see, I can rotate it anywhere I want. Now, uh, this is a recap file. If I select the whole thing, I can come up and go to scan colors and I can go to intensity. Now I'm in my color coded intensity that I like. So, here's what we're going to do do this in steps, okay? Let's bring in our um, XML, our surface, then we're going to bring in our ground, and then we'll bring in a piece of our building so I can show you how this works. Okay, what I've done is I've created a whole new AutoCAD um, drawing. So I can start from scratch and show you how this works. So what we're gonna do, first thing is, I wanna go in, I wanna set my drawing up. Now you guys may already have your default templates and everything set up, I just wanna show you uh, where to make sure things are set correctly. So in our case, we're gonna make sure it says US survey fee. I'm gonna go down to USA Mississippi, and this was in Mississippi East, 983 East Zone USV. Okay, now here's the interesting part. Now this gets a little crazy. I, if I get it right the first time, I'll be impressed. Um, drawing setting, units. You're gonna notice that the first thing that happens here is our units are set to feet, not US survey feet. So what I'm gonna do is, um, just because I'm very, um, very crazy about how all this stuff works, um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set US survey feet up. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this surface. And I'm gonna say okay. So I'm gonna bring this surface in um, U.S. survey feed, state plane, all that good stuff. Okay, as you can see, our services came in. So let's tell you what, I'm really not crazy about um, the way it looks. So let's change it to, um, uh, well, we one foot. Okay, there we go. Now you can see my curve in anyway. Okay, so now what we want to do, is my ground, my point cloud. So let's, um, let's go in here and create a new, let's create a new group called Point Clouds. Okay, so under that new Point Clouds, let's create a new square called Brown. So ground will give it a color of, oh I don't know, let's do that color, how's that? Okay, we're gonna make that our current. So I'm going to slide this over to the other screen for right now. As you can see, we have ground. This actually came in as C topo. So we can move that over to our new, one of our new layers if we wanted to. Um, Okay, so what I want to do now is I actually want to bring that in. So I'm going to go to Attach. I'm going to go down to the one that I have that I call Ground. Open. You can see all the settings in here. Okay. Now I'm to, I just brought that in. So if we go in and look, there again, hold down the Shift key and rotate this thing around. And let's see how our surface looks. Put my surface tied pretty good to the curve there. It's actually stepping up where the curve's at. My surface is a little crazy. I didn't go in and do a lot of weird stuff to make it. I didn't build any uh, brick lines or anything like that. I just threw it in here so you guys can see it. So you guys can do a better job building the surface than I'm going to. Um, so I just wanted you to see that my point cloud has landed in the same place. Now then. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So when you export out 
of Trimble Business Center, your line work, your DWG. So let's jump back over here real quick. I'm gonna close the layer out. Let's get rid of the duct work. I'm gonna go back to layers. I'm gonna turn back on my curb, my gutter, my floor. No, 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 no. I want, um, I didn't want the floor, I want the footprint. Okay, so let me show you guys what happens here. So when I get ready to export this out, I'm gonna export this out as a DWG. So I'm gonna go to CAD, DWG Exporter, I'm gonna select this whole thing. Okay, so now that I've got it all selected, if I say, um, what's this called, this line work? So let's say I've created my DWG, I've done all my line work and everything in Trimble Business Center, and I want to take it out to CAD. Here's a problem. And I don't know if it's a problem with um, Civil 3D or if it's a problem with uh, Terminal Business Center on export. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but I'm going to tell you how to solve the problem. Export this thing out as international feed. So we're going to export. Okay, after you export that out international feed, you're going to go into your units. And you're going to make sure that your units are still set up for U.S. Survey feed. Now, I know this sounds crazy. I just told you to export out of Trimble Business Center's international feed, and, but our drawing in AutoCAD is set up to US survey feed, but check out what happens. So if I go insert, I say, okay, here's my line work. So what you're gonna see is, you can see my line on my curve and everything in here. So if I go in, we dance around this thing, you can see that all that curb line that I drew is lining in the right place. If you don't do it that way and you export that as US survey feet and bring it in this drawing US survey feet, you're gonna be about three, four feet off. Um, not exactly sure where the problem's at or where it comes from, but just FYI when you're exporting out, make sure. Okay, so I turned my surface off and now we're gonna look at the line work and stuff that brought in. So, but when you bring in this stuff, if you set up layers so that when you bring it in, it's on a separate layer, it's going to make a huge difference to your client. So for instance, I brought in that ground. So let's look at if I go into ground and I turn ground off, there's that. So, so let's bring in something else real quick just so I can show you. So let's create a new layer. Let's call it, um, how about, um, South, south wall, we'll call it south wall. Okay, so let's change the color to something that makes more sense. I don't know, how's that? Um, so, what we wanna do now, so I'm gonna attach, I've already created all these in here, so if I go to, let's say outside south wall, open, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, there it is. So there's the outside south wall. So instead of hitting all S's, I'm gonna hit the shift and the, uh, the wheel and I spin around and you can look at it and see. Now one of the things I did from the last video that I guess I should mention was I actually took this line and went into Trimble Business Center, uh, went to, I believe it was edit and elevation and I actually changed the elevation of um, that line to match the finished floor. So I actually checked to see what the point cloud was at the finished floor, and I clicked on it, and then I clicked on that line, and I set that up, that line to the elevation of the finished floor. That's why it's coming in where it's at. Man, I hope that helps. Uh, bringing some of that stuff in. I'm gonna look at um, actually creating a couple other videos today and try to get those out to you guys. I've got to go to Gulfport this week. While I'm down there, I'm gonna try to put together some kind of uh, little quick two minute tips for you on some other stuff. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a huge favor, subscribe and like the video so I know that you guys are getting something out of this. Um, throw me some comments on there. You got some questions. You know the answer to one of the problems I'm having with those snaps or anything else that you see, the US survey feed, by all means comment. I am not an expert. I'm just doing everything I can to share what knowledge I have with you guys 
to make you guys better at what you do. So, I hope you guys have a blessed one. This past weekend was Easter. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, as always, be safe. Don't cut your leg off with a Kaiser blade. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot.